good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video the series where i cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video i'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week six of supreme's spring summer 2023 collection Welcome back guys, lovely to have you back for another drop list video. Uh, I'm very keen to cover the sixth week of Supreme Spring Summer 23 season, but I've got to do something else because you guys are just fantastic people out there. <laughs> so, I mean, I honestly, I doubted you guys, but I should just never doubt you because you're just too good. What I asked over the past couple uploads is I said, thank you for 3,600. We got our little subscriber milestone here for 3,600. Then I said, look, we got like three more days until the end of March. Can we hit another subscriber milestone of just five more subs? Could we do it? I, I, I did sort of believe in you guys, but I was like, come on, it's like three days. Surely not. <laughs> well, again, I shouldn't have doubted you guys because you guys came through and we hit the subscriber milestone. So I wanted to take a moment out of this video to thank the public and private subscribers for constantly supporting the channel as we have hit the milestone of 3605. So thank you guys. Thank you for the continuous support. It's wild to see. I Again, I was doubting you. I was like, nah, man, this, this is going to be an April thing. It's going to be on like April Fools or something like that. No, you guys came through. <laughs> you guys did it. So thank you. Um, I'm going to set another subscriber milestone at the start of this video of 3610 before the end of the month. We literally have less than 48 hours. Okay, look, I, w I was doubting you before on 3605, but I'm, I I'm most definitely doubting you on 3610. If we could hit that before the end of the March, uh, before the end of the month, which is March, that would just be awesome to see though. But thank you guys for helping me reach that one before the end of March. All right, all right. It's time to actually cover week six. Um, I'm very keen to cover week six because a certain collaboration, which I've already made two videos about, is dropping in that week. <laughs> and if you don't know by now, yes, this week we are getting a collaboration with Undercover, Jun Takahashi's awesome brand. We are getting that alongside some seasonal pieces. Uh, and in today's video, we'll cover the release details for the week the seasonal pieces, the collaborative pieces, my thoughts and opinions on each individual piece, and the week as a whole. All those five little topics there. How we're going to cover all that is by using a Supreme Community page, like we do every week. Uh, we'll head on over to that page now, and we'll start covering the release details for week six. Here we are guys, here is the drop list page that we'll be using, the Supreme Community page. Uh, it'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to vote on the items yourselves. We'll quickly cover these release details and then we'll dive into all these individual sections here. So, the items releasing in week 6 will be releasing on the 30th of March 2023. They'll also be dropping two days later in Japan, so the 1st of April. Uh, they'll have an online release 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US, 4 p.m. British Standard Time for the UK, and 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time for the EU on, of course, the 30th of March. Uh, for the Japanese release, 11 a.m. in-store and online Japanese Standard Time. The usual, uh, if you guys have any further questions or queries about when and where it's dropping, comment section below, Instagram DMs, however you want to hit me up. Let me know and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible there. But now that we have covered the release details for week six, we've got to know what we're going to be getting in there on top of the undercover pieces that we already know about. And how we're going to cover that is, as I mentioned before, by going through these individual sections along the left hand side here. So let's just jump right in, guys. Let's start by covering the first section this week, which is the accessories, which we have three releasing this week. And the first one that I'm looking at, I'm looking at and I'm bummed out because that price tag is definitely putting me off. But it must just be huge. And I'm very happy to hit, see that it is what I thought it was. What we have is the undercover anti-U rug. It says anti-U, it has a little bunny rabbit where its head has been morphed into a giant hand, giving us the thumbs up. It's, oh sorry, the finger up. It's nice, but 370 US dollars? God damn, damn. I love it, I want it. I want it for probably about a quarter of that price, but it is what it is. 
Moving into the second accessory, we got the chain zippo. Love it. I want it. I want to clip it to my belt. I want to clip it to my belt loops. I want to have a lighter even though I don't smoke. Help the fellas out if someone wants to light something up. 72 bucks. I'll get around it. Absolutely. Moving into the last accessory, we have the Supreme Bobblehead, 44 bucks. I don't think it's a pair of two. I don't think you get both. I think you have to buy them each individually. 44 US dollars for uh, individual bobbleheads to me sounds expensive. For two, it sounds all right, but it is what it is. I think I, I, I like both colors, in all honesty, and it's a fun little uh, accessory for sure. I'd give it a thumbs up, but if I had to rearrange it, I'd probably put Zippo first, Rug second, bobblehead last, in my preferences at least. But uh, yeah, some pretty solid accessories for week six. Right, moving into the hats. To start it off with, we've got the undercover studded six panel. I wasn't big on the camo one, but I didn't mind the black on black one. It looked nice, the studs suited it. Uh, yeah, I'd like for the black one, I'd give it a thumbs up. The other one, eh, not so much. Next we got the cherries five panel look. Maybe this is just me, but when I was looking at this hat, all I was getting was these feelings of like, this is the type of hat that like people would wear in like the swag era of like fashion, street fashion at least. You know, like the 20, is 11 the start point of that? To like 2014? Like that's like, you know, like the early, early Instagram days this is the type of thing I'd see people rocking. Like, this is it. And I don't know why, like, me thinking that has completely turned me off the hat, but it just looks like something that someone in that era would rock. And I'm all right, bro, you can keep it there. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Maybe you are a little bit more warm to it, but it's gonna be a thumbs down for me on that one. And now we got the tops slash sweaters. Of course, we got the undercover Moto jersey. This was just a weird piece. They grabbed the camo from the jacket, put a barbed wire design on it. That is very undercover. And then had some font on the arms. I, I don't know, man. It just felt like a very weird piece to throw into the collab. I'm gonna agree with the Supreme community on this one. I'm gonna put it as a down vote. I'm just not too keen on that piece. Moving forward, we got the stacked sweater. A sweater featuring Supreme lettering stacked all on top of each other. It's a bit too much. The color combos aren't doing it for me. Maybe if the colors were different, it might appeal to me more, but I'm gonna agree with the community on this one. It's gonna be a thumbs down. Next, we've got the undercover football top. That is not how I, uh, well, that would not be the first piece that I would think of when I saw these t-shirts. When I saw those t-shirts on the lookbook and everything, uh, I did not think, yeah, this looks like a football jersey, but that's what they were going for. Maybe that's why the ribbing crosses over here across the chest like that. That is very uh, football jersey like, but again, if that was the defining characteristic for me to make the determination that it's a football jersey, I went over my head, bro. Went over my head, I, I didn't see that. Anyway, in black or white, I'm a fan. Give me that piece. Next, we got the dragon wrap short sleeve top. People are really liking this. I just think it looks a bit cheesy, a little bit goofy. It looks like something you'd find at like a, you know, like a Chinatown or like a Sunday market type beat. I can't get around it, but apparently a lot of people can, but I'm gonna give that one a thumbs down. If I had 88 bucks, I'd rather spend it on the undercover collaborative tea, to be honest. But yeah, that is all the uh, top slash sweaters releasing this week. <laughs> I was wondering if they were going to put this under accessories or bags, but I, I guess bag is probably more appropriate. What we have is the undercover belt waist bag. So, waist bag, I mean, technically, probably, but really it's just a belt with a bunch of different smaller bags on it. So, we'll, we'll, we'll let it slide. Uh, it's a cool piece. Uh, not too keen on, like, the, like, if it was just single colored. I'd be more keen on it, but it's not necessarily a bad thing with it being camo. I think the black one's better than the brown. Uh, it's a cool design. I hope to see like this in the future, but just like, yeah, again, single colored, but I could see a lot of people getting around. Uh, yeah, I was about to call it an accessory, but this bag, cause uh, yeah, it would look awesome on like a bunch of very utilitarian outfits for sure. Moving into the t-shirts this week, all collaborative ones, all fantastic. We've got the undercover tag tee, spray painted design on the chest there, in the best colors you could have t-shirts in. That's thumbs up from me. 
We've got the undercover, Lupin the Third T. You guys filled me in on what the manga was, and it obviously means a lot to a lot of you guys uh, in our previous conversations in the other videos. I know a lot of you guys are keen on it. I just really liked it for the art style and how the art popped off the uh, chest there. And it comes in black or white, my two favorite t-shirt colors. Moving into the last one, we have the undercover face tee. Um, yeah, I'm keen. I'm keen on these. Let's give it a good old thumbs up there. Yeah, just awesome, easy to wear t-shirts for this week with undercover. No complaints here at all. Now we have the sweatshirts, which again, are just collaborative ones. To start off with, we got the undercover zip up hooded sweatshirt. Like if the black one propped up for like a third of the retail price, I'd be like, yeah, all right. Or maybe even the white one at a third of the retail price, but I just like 188. It's not like a piece where I'm like, I need this in my wardrobe. I'll pay 188 bucks for it. So like, it's like a, if you, if it's worn out and it's like 80 bucks, I'd pick it up. But apart from that, I'm cool to do without. Next, we've got the undercover anti U hooded sweatshirt, a um, little bit cheaper, a graphic I much more prefer. I like all four colors, awesome pieces. No complaints about that one. I just think it's a better hoodie. I just think it's one that I definitely prefer a lot more. Interesting that it's uh, the downvote ratios are like this. But uh, yeah, that is all the sweatshirts this week, guys. Um, all collaborative ones with Undercover as well. <laughs> Most of this week is just collaborative things with Undercover. We don't even have a lot of seasonal stuff this week. For the collared shirts, we have the short sleeve flannel uh, in a very oversized silhouette by the looks of it, just judging by how it looks. Uh, very reminiscent of a lot of over shirts that uh, Undercover has been doing over the past couple mainline seasons. I didn't mind it in the white or black, but as I commented on in the Streetwear Talk video, uh, the white and black have various, very different aesthetics to the flanneled ones. I feel like the white and black ones are more formal, more workwear versus the, or I should say office wear, versus the ones in the middle which do look more work wear, manual labor type beat. But uh, yeah, each to their own on which one you like. I just like the two ones on the end. The two in the middle, nah, the red one's actually not too bad either. But yeah, I, I'll give it a thumbs up. But again, I wouldn't pay the retail price for it. I'd be like, eh, if it comes up for cheaper on like Second Street Japan, I'd pick it up, but not scrambling for this one at all. Moving into the jackets, which is one of my favorite sections this week, all undercover ones. And I'm going to be a bit brutal on this one, but I think that's, you know, it's still how I felt from the Streetwear Talk video. So uh, the studded BDU jacket, the design was cool. The camo was all right. I like the studded bits all over it. But then I saw the retail price and I was like, yo, I thought this was a Supreme collab. Damn, can we lower the price a bit? This is all like, well, it's not actually almost undercover pricing because undercover pricing would be like three times that, but <laughs> uh, it's just way more than what I was expecting for sure. Like I like it in the black, but you know, I was talking about pieces I want at like a third of the retail price. This very much applies here, definitely. Next we've got the undercover puffer jacket and oh my God. <laughs> I've spent probably around the same price tag for mainline undercover pieces secondhand. That is just wild. But you got to do what you got to do if you like the pieces. Um, look, I wasn't a huge fan of the piece for me personally, but it's all right. Like I, I, the black and like navy looking one is cool. That's a cool color combo. It would look nice on other people. I just don't think it's my thing. Um, I'll give it a thumbs up because I, I appreciate that it would look nicer on other people, but Jesus, that retail man, that retail. Next we've got the undercover track jackets. These are okay. I, I didn't think these were like amazing wild pieces. Uh, 228 bucks, like that's all right, that's okay. I'll give it a thumbs up. I wouldn't see it like, I get, like if someone gifted me that, I'd be like, cool, but I wouldn't go out of my way to go buy it. I'd much rather buy like the t-shirts or hoodies from this collab than this track jacket for sure. Next, we've got the Trench Puffer Jacket, the most upvoted outwear piece this week. Uh, yeah, look, I like the trench coat by itself, the puffer part of it, not so much. And if I got to pay for two jackets when I only really want one, eh, probably wouldn't want to pick it up. <laughs> and there are like, there's just way better undercover outwear pieces that have released in previous undercover seasons. And to add to that, there are way better Undercover Supreme outwear pieces that have released in previous Undercover Supreme collaborations. So, 
I just feel like with these pieces here, they're not beating the bar on previous collabs and even just their, like both of the brands individual outwear releases in their mainline seasons. So that's just my whole take on the outwear for this collab. Uh, look, you give me the black trench coat, for like an okay price, yes, but again, I, I wouldn't be hunting like crazy for this one either. But uh, yeah, that is all the jackets releasing this week, even though I gave them all thumbs up. They all had their own different, you know, conditions on when I'd actually wear them and pick them up. I just, yeah, I don't think I'll be going hunting for these outwear pieces secondhand moving forward. I'm definitely more interested in outwear pieces from other Undercover Supreme seasons, for sure. And last but not least, the pants, which are all collaborative ones as well. To start off with, we've got the Undercover Sweatpants. These were the same price as the hoodie. Damn! Uh, no from me. No, I... I could do without. I could, like, the hoodie is nicer than the sweatpants. I don't think I'd want the full sweatsuit either. Next, we've got the undercover track pants. I, I, I was, like, very eh about the jacket. I'm going to be even more so about the pants. So, no from me. The undercover studded cargo pants. They're cool in the black. The brown's all right, just not a color I would wear. But they're 448 bucks. Yo. Bro. I need to get my money up or something, because that's, that's expensive for these pants, and they're not even, like, really pulling me in, you know? Uh, like, yeah, the black ones are nice, but, yo, that retail price, crazy. And last but not least, we have the undercover layered jeans. They're fun. I like the uh, layered flannel look where it's, you can also detach it and stuff. 228 US dollars. It's a lot cheaper than the cargoes, a little bit more expensive than the other two pants, but well worth it, I think. So I'll give that one a thumbs up. That's a fun little piece there. But uh, yeah, that is everything releasing in week six, guys. As kind of showcase, not a lot of seasonal pieces. Definitely more collaborative pieces this week. But I'd have to say that some of the seasonal pieces are quite nice as well. Like the chain Zippo, that's fun. Um, what else was there that was seasonal that was good? Probably just the chain Zippo then. <laughs> Maybe the bobblehead, but yeah, that wasn't actually that much. But yeah, this was obviously the big undercover week. Uh, it's a shame because I, I'm i not super drawn to a lot of the pieces releasing in the collab. Like, if they come up, cool. If they don't, that's fine. I'll go hunting for just, like, mainline undercover pieces and keep filling up my wardrobe with mainline undercover. And same with Supreme. Like, if I miss out on these pieces, then, oh, well, I'll go hunting for Supreme pieces that I've wanted for years and pick those up instead, you know? So... I, I don't feel like I'm going to be missing out on too much if I miss out on this collab, but uh, that's just my take on it, I suppose. But yeah, now that we've covered everything in week six, guys, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Good week or bad week? Holding on to your cash, letting your cash go. Let me know what your thoughts are on week six down in that comment section below. Well, guys, that's everything to say about week six. We covered the release details. It's dropping on the 30th for most of the world and then the 1st of April for Japan. Uh, we covered the seasonal and collaborative pieces. We covered all my thoughts on the individual pieces and the week as a whole. Now I want to hear from you guys if you are picking up something from this week. I know a lot of you guys out there were very, very keen on the Undercover collab. I saw all the comments in the comment section below. Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome to see you guys talk about it and I can see you guys are going for a lot. So let me know what you're going to be picking up from week six down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme releases, upcoming Undercover releases, or upcoming uh, Supreme seasons in general, you got to give me the three indicators I always nag you about. You got to give me a like on this video. You got to give me a comment in that comment section down below. And you got to give me the best indicator of them all. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. As mentioned at the start of this video, we're trying to aim for that new subscriber milestone of 3610. Before the end of March, I don't know if we're going to hit it, man. I doubted you on 3605. That was my wrongdoing. That was my fault. But 3610 in less than 48 hours, I have my doubts. But prove me wrong. Please prove me wrong. <laughs> you guys are fantastic, so maybe you will. Let's see if we can hit it, though, before the end of the month. But that is everything i got to say about week six, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something from this week. Hopefully you can pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next undercover video, until the next Supreme video, until the next drop list video in general, 
I'll catch you later.